COPD actually encompasses several different kinds of conditions. So it's really more of an umbrella term and not a single diagnosis. Officially, COPD is essentially broken down into either things like emphysema, where the problem occurs because of destruction of lung tissue, or more like a chronic bronchitis, where the condition is largely limited to the airways. There are many millions of people in this country who are affected by it. There is no doubt that smoking is the single most important risk factor for COPD. It probably accounts for 90 plus percent of all cases of obstructive uh, lung disease. Then there are occupational issues, uh, particulate exposures, uh, certain kinds of aerosol exposures, um, and then there are pollution factors. There is an element of uh, persistence to your symptoms and to the abnormalities on your tests. Uh, the patients are going to have symptoms either all the time or at least for a substantial portion of the year. The findings that you're going to encounter are things like abnormal breathing tests where the flow of air in and out of the lungs is diminished. So it's kind of like breathing through a straw all the time. The first step in evaluating these people is the same no matter what they've got. A thorough history, including home environment, occupational environment, uh, social habits with smoking, um, as well as a careful physical exam.